I'm going to continue my video about Helena. If you feel like you missed something, check out the previous video. The link is in the description. I know you're a bit bored discussing Helena, but the more I read, the more interesting it becomes. I hope you guys can enjoy this video. So, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a 1913 aerial view, with the capital building oddly separate from the town, and several roads void of buildings. I was lucky to find a map of Helena from 1875, showing buildings and facilities claimed to have been built later. If the date is accurate, this map proves the city existed earlier than the 1890s, and whoever is telling us it was built later, is lying. The cathedral claimed to have been built between 1908 and 1914, is standing exactly where it should be, between Ewing and Warren Street, just as today. Other streets, however, have been renamed. It's even indicated as number 13, Catholic Church. Why does 1875 map feature something that wasn't supposed to have been built yet? Was it built earlier, just as suspected? And was it built by the same people that built cathedrals all over the world? The people who have nothing in common with the horse-riding buckaroos that came later. But the 1908 cathedral has two spires. On the map, there's only one. Why the discrepancy? Was there an older church there before the one in 1908 was built? I searched the town records for an older church at that location, but found none. I think the buildings on this map are simplified versions of reality. Whoever drew the map knew where the buildings were, but did not etch out the details. It's difficult to draw on such small detail, and even today many maps are drawn in simplified versions. My bet is that only one spire was drawn, for spacing reasons. Looking at the map, in front of the cathedral we see another larger building. I'm not sure about this one, but it could be what is today the Synagogue Temple Emmanuel, written Emmanuel here. The structure still stands today, at the same distance to the church as on the old map. The map again shows one tower while in reality it has two. The synagogue is claimed to have started building in 1890. This photo is from 1891, so apparently it only took one year to complete. But, if the map is correct, it existed long before. Were the cathedral and synagogue merely repurposed? On the map, the building is not indicated as a synagogue, but as a Methodist Episcopal Church. Maybe it was repurposed more than once. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Item number 6 on the map, is the Masonic Hall, on Broadway. It still stands today, at the same address. It says here that it was made in 1885. Again. How is the building on an 1875 map when it was built in 1885? Something doesn't add up. You could argue that 1885 is the year the Masonic Hall was established, not the year the building was built. But then I ask. What was the building for before that? Where are the records of its construction? Who built it? When was it built, if it's already part of 1875 map? Time and time again, we find a lack of records and record keeping for anything prior to approximately 1875. It's as if time began around then. Most of the newspapers we read today, started around that time. Did you know that the early 1800s are, in many places around the world, called the time of the interregnum? That word means time without ruler, or time in between rulers. And did you know, that 1816, was called the year without summer, and showed signs of a global nuclear fallout? But I'm getting ahead of myself. These are future topics. There are too many ifs, buts, and whens, for the official history of Helena to be legitimate, in my view. If the 1875 map were the only one of its nature, I'd have to say that the map must be fake. But other old maps show the same. Here's an 1883 view, taken from the Library of Congress, including the buildings that were supposed to have been built later. We again see the cathedral, the synagogue in front of it, the Masonic Hall, and many other buildings that aren't supposed to be there yet. An oddity. The cathedral is missing both towers. In the earlier 1875 map at least one tower was shown. 
the image appears to have undergone some kind of manipulation where something resembling an oil tower is attached to the church where the tower is supposed to be. I bet if I looked long enough, I'd find that oil tower to be an exact copy of another one somewhere on the map. Why would they manipulate the drawing? Because they need the cathedral to have been built much later. Unlike the previous map, this one is large enough to include the capital building on the outskirts of town. The map indicates it's at location number 2. But I did not find number 2, and soon discovered that where the building is supposed to be, at 6th Street and Montana Avenue, it's been covered by images. The image has apparently been tampered with. Whoever pasted those pictures on there, forgot to remove the small print indication. Very sloppy work. Why would they want to hide the Capitol building? Well, because it wasn't half supposed to have been built until 1901. Main Street on the old maps looks more developed than the wooden huts we saw on previous video. The wooden huts were claimed to be Helena Main Street. But Main Street seems to have actually looked like this. This Main Street fits to the Hollywood narrative. The image on the right doesn't. Again, for contrast, this is the kind of stuff we were taught about 1800s Montana in school. A narrative of engines and grizzly bears and clumsy wooden forts is the Wild West everyone is familiar with. These stories make people feel cozy, safe in the knowledge that we brought civilization from Europe and slowly built the place after 1890. But reality is radically different. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.